Hey guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Today we've got an awesome video because I'm gonna show you the top three mistakes you're making on your topspin forehand, even if you've watched a ton of instructional videos. So if you're ready, let's get started. What's up guys, Pete here, and I'm really excited to bring you this video because I'm gonna show you three topspin forehand mistakes you might be making, even if you already watched it all and seen it all as far as online tennis instruction. And how do I know that you might be making this mistake is I've been lucky enough now to have many of my online students come out on the court with me and I get to watch them play. And the, they say, hey, I've, I've seen all the videos on the, the proper grip, the modern forehand, you know, pet the dog like Rick Macy says to do. They know it all. They're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to how to hit a forehand, but they're still doing three things that I see so many people do, and it's right as you're getting ready to make contact. This is where I really see the mistakes start to happen. So if you're one of those people who are like, yes, I've watched all these videos, and yet I know I'm still not hitting a good topspin forehand, watch this, because by the end of this video, it's gonna be a game changer for you. Let's get into mistake number one, okay? Now, mistake number one, I call the slapper forehand, okay? And what happens is, and you're probably not even aware you're doing this, you, you already know it's wrong, so I advise you to video yourself and see if you're doing this. If you're going to swing and you find that you have very little spin on the ball and your ball takes off like a rocket ship, you might be doing the slapper forehand. So what happens is the player gets here, they look good, they're getting here, that looks good, they're going in the racket drop, they're coming up, and then right as they go to make contact, I had somebody in Texas doing this, right as they get ready to make contact, right as they're coming this way and rolling, okay, they start to move this way. You see what I just did there? And I call that the slapper, kind of like you're gonna slap someone in the face, right? This is the slapper forehand. So they're coming here, everything looks good, put the slapper forehand in, Ball takes off, also a great way to get tennis elbow and hurt your wrist. So watch out for that slapper forehand. All right, let me show you mistake number two that I'm seeing, the biggest mistake number two. And again, it all has to do with the contact. And these are the tweakers, okay? There's so many people that tweak out there when they're getting ready to hit. And I think it's a matter of just not having confidence on your stroke. I'm gonna show you front, then I'm gonna show you from the side what I see people doing. So again, they set up beautifully. They, they're holding the racket. They've got their core loaded. They've got the strings facing towards the ground. They're coming, everything looks perfect. They're coming to hit, and then they do this little tweak move. Did you see that? Watch this. They're getting set. They're coming to hit. And then right as they get ready to hit, I can see on slow motion frame, and we'll show you some of our students, they do this little tiny move, and the ball takes off. Now here's the tricky thing, is after the ball leaves, they start to correct and they look perfect again. So those tweakers really have a tough one because if they're not videoing themselves and they don't feel it, it's gonna be really, really hard for them to stop doing that. So I'm gonna give you a drill at the end, at the end of this video, a free drill that you could do to stop those tweaks. Okay, so the third and final mistake I call the rolling stone, <laughs> okay? So there's so many players out there that are watching the pros hit and they see all this rotation, they see Rafa hitting that ball and they're like, man, look at all that rotation he's getting on the ball, I wanna put that rotation on the ball. So what happens is as they're getting ready to hit, they start adding all this risk right as they're getting ready to hit. And, and this is why I call it the rolling stone because what ends up happening is your ball ends up going into the ground like it's a stone, okay? Like you're, you're hitting a brick or a rock The ball doesn't go nice and easy and high over the net and then spin in like Rafa's does. It just drops like to the bottom of the ocean like, you're, like you just hit a rock, okay? So let me show you what happens there and I'll show you from the back. You're getting here, you're getting set, everything looks beautiful, you're coming up and then right here's where you start to think I've gotta be like Rafael on the Dow and you start to roll over real quick like that, especially you'll see lots of pros finish here but what you're not seeing is they're hitting it, they're coming here through long and then you're seeing them turn the wrist and they finish down here. The pocket to pocket move isn't here to here, guys, which so many people do. That's, that's gonna give you a rolling stone forehand. I'm gonna demo it here in a second. What you wanna do is you wanna come here, hit, you're coming through, 
and there. Now, look, I still have a low finish, but that ball would still go over the net. So let me show you the rolling stone. And now the correct way. Okay guys, so now all you gotta do is if you've been struggling with your toss and forehand, now you just have to identify which mistake are you making. And also, if you have struggled to feel what toss and feels like, I've got my number one no fail drill for feeling the top spin on the ball. I wanna play you a preview right now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this one works every time. And guys, it is so important to master the feeling of topspin because once you get it, it's so freeing. You feel like you can swing as hard as you want and you know the ball is gonna go in. So it's such an awesome thing to match that topspin. And this one I got from a guy named Butch Staples, awesome instructor, he loves teaching the 10 and under kids. And he had a drill called the rainbow drill. So I did not make this up. 